Isaac the Royal Storm Dogwe caught the eye of the world in 2012 at the Olympics in London. Apart from the judges, everyone said he won the fight. His loss to Shimizu was the topic for discussion among boxing greats, including former heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield. The 17-year-old did not give up. Under the tutelage of Paul Dogwe, his father, a former national team boxer and later turned soldier in the British Army, the boy turned professional and came down to Ghana. He beat Isaac Krampa to win the WBO Pan-African featherweight title. In the fresh defense of his title, he also beat up rugged Ghanaian contender Michael Papo at the Carnation Sports and Complex. We are grateful for this wonderful package. In come for us, Nana Kunedo. And there he goes down! The canvas! The canvas! The canvas! In the second defense of his African title, Dogwe stopped military boxer Edward Takembo at the Accra Sports Stadium. Remember, he brought a chain. And Dogwe's close keep, keep actually landing. And Takembo is down. Dogbe now has the responsibility to carry on from where Azuma left off. Then came Javier Chacon from Argentina. Under renowned referee Tony Wicks, Isaac Dogbe scored a technical knockout to win the interim WBO Junior Featherweight title at the Bukum Arena, Accra. With just a fight away to a world title, the Russian tanker was ready for anyone. The Royal Storm came face to face with the Corazon Cesar Juarez from Mexico, a crack brawler turned boxer. Isaac Dogwe knocked Juarez out with a left hook in the fifth round of that fight. This gave him a mandatory challenge for the bantamweight world title held by Jesse Magdaleno. That fight took place yesterday and it's history now. He's looking for it. Those body shots are set up for his head shots. Magdaleno sitting right there. He goes down again. It's over. There's a new world champion. His name is Isaac Dogbe. And now the new WBO Junior Featherweight World Champion, Royal Storm. Isaac!